Hey guys and welcome to a new series where today we're going to take a look at some grade A and grade A star exam questions. So we're going to be taking a look at this one today, question 9 here, which is integration by substitution. But in the series we're going to take a look at several other types of questions involving differential equations, integration, differentiation and tons of other stuff. So in this question here, we're, we're told to use a substitution in u is equal to 4 minus the square root of x to find the integral of dx divided by 4 minus the square root of x and this is for 6 marks so just ignore this line here it's a bit of a follow on but we're only looking at part a today so this integral looks a bit funny we have dx on the top and we're using this substitution here u is equal to 4 minus the square root of x so you've got to think about what this dx is doing here on the top and it's nothing too crazy all that it's saying here is that they've multiplied across by the dx to keep it on top of the fraction so 4 minus the square root of x so how would we write this would just be as a multiple uh, sorry not a multiple but a, you know times in it by it so it's going to look like this it's going to be 1 over 4 minus the square root of x like that and this is dx so this is what they're integrating with respect to here with respect to x and this is why it goes on the outside here but it would just be the same as writing as 1 over which is why it becomes this, right? Now, we have 1 over the 4 minus root x here, and we know we're using this substitution u equals. So like any substitution, write it out. So u is equal to 4 minus square root of x. So the first thing we can do is work out the derivative of u. So u prime. So the 4 is just 0 when you differentiate it. Minus the square root of x. So remember, the square root of x is x to the power of a half. And then when you differentiate this, so this is going to still be a negative, so what we're going to get here now is going to be minus x to the minus half. So if you take 1 from a half, you get minus a half, and this is divided by 2. So that's the first bit. Now, let's carry on with this. So this would be dx, because this would be du by dx. So I'm being a bit naughty with my notation here. This isn't technically correct. But I'm going to write it in this form, just to make it easy. Now let's work out what dx would be. Um, so I should, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that. So that'll just be du, scrap that. And so therefore dx, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip this around here now. So what that's going to be is equal, so it's going to be minus 2. So it'd be the same as flipping this over now. So this would be minus 2 divided by x to the minus half, divided by x to the minus half like this. So it's just a bit of rules with fractions here, that's all that's going on. Now you can simplify here, so minus 2 divided by x to the minus half. So that's the same as writing it as 1 over the square root of x. And this is should have a du next to it. So now, simplifying here, this is going to be minus 2 times the square root of x. Like that du um, oh no sorry yeah yeah du there that's fine and this is dx so just so we don't get confused I was looking for that bit there so dx is equal to this and it's important that we work out dx so we need to apply this back into the integral here now so now we've worked out the necessary like you know second secondary steps to it we can put it all back in and see what we get so going back to our integral now so we're integrating 1 over 4 minus root x dx. So we know 4 minus root x is u. So this is the integral of 1 over u dx, where dx is minus 2 root x. This is times minus 2 root x du. So now we can just do a bit of simplifying here. This is the integral of minus 2 root x. So if you multiply across, minus 2 root x divided by u du. So at this point this doesn't look like we're going to get any closer. How do we move from here? Well this minus 2, this constant here, we can move it on the outside. Remember just for our integration you can treat it as a multiple of it. So this becomes minus 2 lots of the integral. So now I've got root x, so this is minus 2 times the integral of root x divided by u du. Now remember, root x, so if u is equal to 4 minus root x, then root x 
is going to be equal to 49 issue. So now we have minus 2 times the unit rule of 4 minus u divided by u. And this is still with respect to u. So now we've got it, we can simplify here. This is the key bit now. We've got it in 4 minus u divided by u. So treat these as separate fractions. This is the same as 4 over u minus u over u. And we can separate these now. So what this is going to look like if we separate this. So if we do it over here, this is going to be minus 2 lots of the integral 4 over u. And this is going to be minus u divided by u. But because this is minus 2 times this integral, which is going to become minus 1, I'm going to just multiply through already to give me plus 2 lots of 1. Now this should all have a du at the end. And what we can do here now is just integrate. So if we integrate these now, what I'm going to do is just quickly rewrite up here. So we'll quickly rewrite up here. We can just move it up here. So doing that, what we're going to get here now. So this, again, we can move the 4 out. So this would be minus 8 lots of 1 over u. So minus 8 lots of 1 over u. Well, remember, if you integrate 1 over u, that's just ln u. So what we have now is minus 8 lots of ln u, like that. So that's just the absolute signs here. Plus 2 lots of the integral of 1. So because we're integrating with respect to u, this is just going to be u. So 2 times u plus 2u. And remember the constant of integration. We have no limit, so we need a constant of integration plus c. And to finish this off now, where you've got your u, subbing back what we had here. So u is equal to 4 minus root x. So wherever there's u, plug that back in. So what we have now finally is minus 8 ln. So the u now is 4 minus root x. So 4 minus root x. Like that plus 2u, so plus 2 lots of 4 minus root x. 4 minus root x plus c. And there we have it guys, that form there is absolutely fine. You could multiply this through to get plus 8 minus 2 root x, and then because obviously we've got a number plus c, we can just change that to plus k. Um, but this form is absolutely fine as well guys, so this is what we're aiming for here. And there we go, that's the first question done in this series, so I hope that's okay. Quite a tricky integration by substitution, but nothing too ridiculous, but I hope that is okay.